This is Computer Insider, Canada's award-winning technology report with Bob Pritchard. This week on Computer Insider, we meet with CAST, an organization of software companies who work to educate about software abuse. Later, genealogy comes to life as we go hands-on with expert personal roots. This week on Computer Insider. Computer Insider is brought to you by AST Computer. You'll like the way we work. And Sharp Electronics. From sharp minds come sharp products. Thank you very much for joining us again this week on Computer Insider. The government-backed Computer Emergency Response Team in the U.S. CERT has posted its advisory about the latest threats to security on the Internet. CERT says that online vandals are using a trick called Internet Protocol Spoofing that enables them to break into linked systems, copy or destroy documents, or work undetected by masquerading as an authorized user. CERT officials say Internet users may be able to detect if security has been breached on the host computer that they're logged into. Now, two signs of possible trouble are if commands appear on the screen that the user didn't type, or if a blank screen appears that no longer responds to commands. The advisory reported on the Internet urges operators of the Internet host computers to encourage users to report such activity and to pay particular attention to connections that have been idle for a long time. Seagate Technology says that its fastest AT interface or IDE hard disk, the Decathlon 850, is now in production. The 850 megabyte dual platter drive combines an 11 millisecond average seek time with a 5400 RPM spindle speed and a 16.6 megabyte per second fast ATA2 industry standard disk interface. Seagate says that the Decathlon 850 is fast enough to allow a low cost fully configured multimedia PC to handle 30 frame per second full screen video playback with minimal compression. We'll keep you advised of this and other stories right here on Computer Insider. Computer Insider's Industry Insights has been brought to you by QMS, Seamless Network Printing. A couple of years ago, I was at a computer show, and one of the speakers asked the audience how many people had illegally copied software onto their systems. Virtually everybody in the room, except me, put their hands up to acknowledge that they had, in fact, broken the law. I think this signals a fairly serious problem in that people don't seem to respect the value of software. If you can get it out of the organization, out of your company, and get it home and install it, then that's good for you and bad for the company or the software publishers. It's against the law, and there are organizations in Canada who are focused to make sure that those who distribute illegal software are brought to justice. Today we're going to meet the members of CAST and find out what they do to track down software thieves on Computer Insider. The Business Software Alliance and the Canadian Alliance Against Software Theft are here today to jointly announce the civil actions being brought against five dealers in the Montreal and Toronto area. One of these dealers, Microbytes, based just outside of Montreal in Pointe Claire, is engaged in the unauthorized rental of computer software. With the passage of NAFTA uh, and, and its effective date of January 1st, 1994, uh, the rental of computer software in Canada by anyone without the authorization of the publisher, the owner of the copyright, was deemed illegal. And the, the BSA and CAST spent much of 1994 uh, being very proactive in educating the reseller community and the dealer community uh, as, to the, uh, as to this illegality. And we wanted to wait till a year went by before we brought an action. We announced that we had uh, opened up litigation against uh, four resellers in the Canadian marketplace. One for the illegal renting of software and three for the hard loading of software on PC systems. Putting protection in the, in the software is simply creating inconvenience for legitimate customers who are paying real, real money. If we're going to make things inconvenient, we want to make it inconvenient for people who, who, who are doing an illegal act. So we, we'd rather not, not put copy protection in. What we'd rather make sure is that we can explain to people why they should go, go, go legit and, 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 and why we actually charge money for software. Uh, certainly that as the technology gets uh, more pervasive and it gets a lot easier to, to share information across networks such as the internet, it will be easier to copy software. That's why we're going to be stepping up our activities in terms of education and awareness and sharing uh, this litigation activity with other people. With respect to the rental case, uh, the, the, the BSA investigator uh, went in and 
based on a tip to our 800 number that this in fact was taking place, went in and asked if he could rent software and in fact was allowed to rent the software. So take the software home for a couple of days for a nominal fee and then bring it back. Um, as was stated earlier in our press event, software can be copied very quickly without any degradation in the quality. So this is why the, the, it is now illegal under the Copyright Act. This company was notified about it repeatedly during 1994, continued to do it, and we decided to pursue action. I think that, that certainly it's, it's greater than 10% than of users of our product out there. I'm, I'm very concerned for the future when online is going to be much faster, when modems are going to be much faster, when, when bulletin boards can do download a complete copy of our product within a couple of seconds. That's really where I'm very concerned. CAST has put together a, a formal audit kit that we can ship out to the IS executive and it's a formal process that they can go through on how to audit their, the PCs in their organization, how to put the proper procedures around it and how to and put together an internal education campaign. And uh, all they have to do is call our, our 800 number and we'll ship that material out to them. Remember that the illegal copying of software is a criminal act in Canada. You could face jail time or fines or both. So if you have illegal software, get a legitimate copy and license your applications. If you'd like to find out what's happening in the world of high technology, you should be dialing into our fax-based computer system to get the latest fax on demand information. Dial the second number, the middle number on the screen, it's an 800 service, available right across the province and at no charge to you, seven days per week, 24 hours per day. Coming up, what's the impact of modern technology on audio and television? Next on Computer Insider. If you want to attract more business, you've got to work together. We all have our own special visions of where we want to be and how we want to work, wherever we are. At AST, we build computers to meet your worldview with award-winning products, service, and support. From notebooks to super servers, AST Computer. You'll like the way we work. Today's marketplace demands more information delivered faster than ever before. D-Link helps make that happen. D-Link manufactures network interfaces. D-Link connects computer systems with bridges and routers. D-Link writes network management software. D-Link manufactures computer networking and internetworking products to bring this world closer together. D-Link Corporation. Question, what prints, faxes, scans, and makes perfect copies? Answer, the QMS 2001 Plain Paper Laser Knowledge System, the 600 DPI high-performance printer that does it all. Easy to install, the QMS 2001 works with your Windows PC to integrate all of these capabilities into one very affordable, dynamic business system. It's your office in a box. Call 1-800-263-5508 for the dealer nearest you. Tak se snažím sehnat ten nový operační systém Chicago. Pořád odaluji jeho uvedení na trh. Ten nový OS 2 War pod IBM se zdá být vynikající. OS 2 War? Zrovna jsem o něm četla v časopise. Máte tam opravdový multitasking? Snadný přístup do internetu. Hrozně ráda bych tu síť vyzkoušel. Oh, to je můj beeper. 